Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I'm out having coffee and just walking about because I'm looking at things I need to still move and work on. But I wanted to show you this. These are the dish pans I buy. They're like $3. You can get them anywhere. Some of the dollar stores carry them. They're smaller, but this, this one is 4 Point five, so it's four and a half gallons, and they are perfect to grow everything, almost everything. When it comes to vegetables, even flowers, you can grow flowers in them. But I wanted you to see this. This is tool, and we're going to talk a lot about this as we get in the spring. Let me show you what tool is. Tool is like a fabric. It's something like they make wedding dresses out of, and it is really great for anybody that's gardening that has any issues with anything i love my tool as you can see there's tool behind me and by the way that tool is going on two years old that tool is fantastic this is how it comes now i generally order three at a time you can order one it doesn't matter but you know when i order one sometimes i've noticed to keep the shipping down they take the cardboard out and they fold it up in a little envelope. It's fine, it doesn't matter, but I like to get it in a bowl. Now this is hunter green and these are 54 inches wide. So it looks like it's not that wide, but it will unfold one more time. It's fantastic. So it's really wide and you have 40 yards. Let me tell you, one goes a very long way. Hey, you in Australia, you can start using this right now because tool creates a little bit of shade for the plants as well as protects them. Look at this. I came out here and something was eating away my lettuce that I put in here. So all I did, this is so incredibly simple, is I grabbed some old tool that I had out here already. I tucked it underneath. We're gonna get into how to make this later on underneath these three containers I've got here. And that ended it. Now nothing bothers it. The squirrels don't like this because they have tiny nails. We have big nails, but they have tiny nails. Let's see if you can really see that. You see how tiny those holes are? Now they're way too tiny for a bird to get stuck. So you don't have to ever worry about an animal getting stuck to it and perishing from this. But your rats, your mice, your squirrels have tiny nails and they get stuck. Think of this, this is what their nails are like. And when they poke at this, look at this, see how it goes up and down? This is a pine needle. See, see how that happens? I'm sure you can see that. They grab it and they get stuck for a moment, just for a moment, and they think it's a trap. They take off and run. I've seen them running all over the place here. It's like, oh my gosh, what happened? Well, that's what happened. They literally thought I set up a trap. So don't throw your old tool away. See, this one's got holes and stuff, but this tool works perfect. This is really quick. And here, what I did was I had a stake that I had made, a plant stake, you know, label, and I wasn't using it. So I used it here to hold this up so the lettuce will have room to grow. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how beautiful my lettuce is. Then I planted some more lettuce in here, and I didn't put a stake in this one, but my purple bok choy is coming up fairly quick. See how beautiful it is? Nothing's touching it. Now I'm gonna have to kind of weed through a little bit and I'll use a fork for that, but I've got lettuce growing. I do have a lot of sow thistle coming in between and I'll wanna take the sow thistle out, but this is lettuce. And what I do is when the lettuce goes to seeds, I sprinkle the seeds in something and then I can pull out the lettuce individually and move it. I move some there. I do see I've got potato coming up in here. There must have been a piece of potato in there. This is all garlic, and then I've got lettuce. But any of this, I will take it out. Though it's beautiful for the birds to eat. They love sow thistle because they eat the seeds. They, the bees use the flowers. The little bush tits come in and feed on the insects that get on it. But the thing is, it will take from the plants you're trying to grow. I'm trying to grow lettuce and garlic in here, and this will pull the nutrients. So if you've got sow thistle or any weeds, just pull them and drop them. Not gonna hurt anything. Look through and say, oh, okay, that's not what I want. Drop it and leave it, and it will put whatever it pu pulled out back into the soil. Remember, there's one thing that I believe in wholeheartedly is living soil. So when you buy potting mix, that's not alive. It's ready to use. It'll work great for about three months. And once everything is out of it, 
all the nutrients, all the minerals and everything that the plant needs is gone, it stops growing because they fortify it. You know, kind of like when you buy milk at the store, it says fortified with vitamin D. Well, so is your potting soil. But when you're pulling things out like that and you're taking out this and putting it back in, you're fortifying it. You're putting things back and that brings microbes and critters into your soil and that's what makes plants grow. Don't believe me? Look around the hillsides. You know how we have weed abatement? Nobody is taking care of those weeds and feeding the weeds. They're growing from leaf matter that is falling on its own back into the soil and building what I call living soil. I am very big and I will tell you over and over, living soil is the best. And you know what? Living soil is free. Now, I will never tell you not to buy because some of us do have to get started and sometimes I put a little bit of soil on the top to get started. And that's just to get me going, like to plant seeds in because seeds don't need a lot of nutrition in the beginning. But I will tell you that living soil will make your plants grow. Look how beautiful. It hasn't even been here that long. Is that not gorgeous? I'll pull it apart here and I'll put it back later. See, this is just a stake to hold the tool up so the plants can get bushy, but they haven't been in here that long. They were just small like this, what, maybe a week or so ago, and look at that. Again, this is living soil. This didn't cost me a penny in here. I've been just going around collecting soil that I've got already, just from the ground, leaves, different things, and those are just, well, it's, it's growing wild. I've got celery, purslane, carrots, onions coming up in there. I've got to redo those. I plan on having this table full. But for now, since we are in the holiday season and I'm not overgrowing and overplanting, I'm just doing a couple little things. And I thought some purple bok choy would be fun. And you know what? The tool also protects it from the cold and the wind. But I will have to get in here and pull these things out. Because that is cell thistle. But that is romaine lettuce. Now I will say that that is the big lettuce I grow here. And let me explain this on the lettuce. I don't grow any other type of lettuce right now. A Couple times I've thought about it, but my lettuce is growing so good that if I bring in another lettuce that doesn't grow as good and they cross pollinate, it will take away from what I'm growing. So the lettuce that I grow here all over the property, everywhere, is something I bought years ago that was a romaine lettuce. I planted it, it reseeds everywhere. I'll find it growing somewhere and I'll just pick some baby lettuce out and I can stick it in a pot, I can stick it in a tote, a bucket, and it will grow like mad. I can even stick it in the ground if nothing is around to eat it because everything wants to eat lettuce. So that is another reason I haven't brought in any other lettuce to grow because now I know this is almost like a wild version. It's not wild at all. But in other words, the seeds are so eager to grow because they're so acclimated to our conditions, no matter where I stick them, they grow so good, why ruin a good thing? So for me, I stick with my romaine lettuce. If I decided to grow red lettuce or a different type of curly lettuce, butter lettuce, I think I would cover it and I won't let them cross pollinate. I had that with the celery. I had a lot of green celery growing and then I brought in red and now I've got a lot of kind of mixed celery and nowhere as nice as my original green celery that used to grow everywhere and it'd be three foot tall and beautiful. So now they're kind of a high bread. They're still good to eat. I still use them, but I don't want to mess up my lettuce because I so love my lettuce. So think about that. I collect seeds from the lettuce. I grow my own lettuce and I'm only growing the lettuce now that grows here for what? Six, seven years, the same lettuce from one time purchasing seeds and now I just collect my own. So there's a little tip for the day. I'm going to get back to work and I am so jazzed about this. We're going to talk a lot about container gardening and how there's going to be changes coming this spring for me. And I think some of the changes I'm going to do might help you too. And again, if you're in Australia and you're in the areas where right now you're into spring going into summer, Keep in mind that tool does create a little bit of shade and if you need to 
string some tulle around, use irrigation tubing like I use, and even throw a garden flag on top. And it might help you on these hot sunny days. It would create some extra shade for your plants. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Better get this covered before something comes by and wants to eat it. Bye-bye.